Hello my beauties and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video is just so, so super exciting. Um, it's my first video of 2024, first one of the year. Um, I've had to take some time out for personal reasons but I'm back now and my first video back is a collaboration between myself and my beautiful friend and sister Erica, Erica Conga. You'll find her channel linked in the description box below. If you don't know who she is, you really, really should by now because she is amazing. She is so talented, so beautiful, and I would be lost without her. She is my sister. I adore her. And I'm so excited to be doing this collab because we are collabing with my collaboration palette with Saints Angel Sinners, Steph's Pier, and the stylings from Avida, Vivi or Pretty, whose channel I will have linked in the description box below for you to go and check her out. Um, yes, I this is my backup. They arrived this morning. My oh god, they're arriving to people now. I'm seeing videos, seeing photos of people using it. It's so exciting. So yes, this is the front cover and like I said, this is my backup. So this one is brand new and untouched. So I can show you what she looks like. How absolutely stunning is that? Um, I'm just so over the moon with how it came out. It's been such an amazing opportunity. Um, but yes, so Erica has her palette and I have mine here, um, the one I've been using a lot looks like this, <laughs> um, I've actually hit pan on butterfly, yes, um, so yes, Erica thought up questions, there are 12 questions for us to answer whilst we are doing our makeup, um, if you know, you know, Erica, she loves to come up with questions and she does a great job. So I have 12 questions to answer whilst I do my makeup. So let's crack on. So I am going to go into Saint to start. I forgot to say I did prime my eyes with the um, ABH eye primer. I haven't used it in a while, so I thought I would I'd dig it out. Um, so question number one, what's a dream you've had that has come true? Well, that one is an easy one to answer because it is obviously this collaboration, this palette. Um, I, I couldn't have even dreamt that it would happen. So to be able to have my own collaboration has been a complete dream come true. And yeah, I'm just so incredibly grateful to Darcy for having faith in me, believing in me and collabing with me. It has been such an amazing journey. So I'm really blowing this out. I'm going to try and do something different to the other looks I've done. But I've done so many looks now. I can never remember what I have and haven't done. Obviously being my palette I've I've used this a lot a lot off and on camera Ooh, okay so question number two what is a goal that you're still hoping you can accomplish um for me I would say to have some of my independence back um Obviously, I lost my independence with um, when I became ill um, with the condition I have, and it would be a complete dream goal to regain some independence. That would be wonderful. So that's definitely a goal that I am still hoping to accomplish. Um, other than that, I don't know, I kind of, I think since 
since I've been ill, I've kind of been more of a take take things day by day or week by week, you know, just slow down and enjoy what I do have. So I don't think, I don't know. I don't know. That's a difficult one to answer. I think I would have had very different answers like three, four years ago. But, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Now I'm going to... I am. I'm going to go into Rock the Black and answer question number three what is a dream or goal you had for yourself as a child um well as a child i wanted to be a veterinary nurse i have my heart set on it i've always loved animals um i just it was funny because i never dreamed of being a vet but a veterinary nurse um i don't know why that's just how it was, I guess. Um, so, yeah, that was always a dream when I was younger. But I have a really bad phobia of um, needles, syringes. Um, so that kind of <laughs> paid to that excuse. Jace is playing with his uh, toy that he got for Christmas. His squeaky Brussels sprout. Um so yeah, as a, as a child, I, I really wanted to be a veterinary nurse. I did get the opportunity to um, volunteer in a wildlife rescue and nursing unit um, in my teens, which was amazing. I absolutely loved that. So maybe in a way I, I did my goal. I got to work with animals a bit. Um, I don't know why I never went down the route of working with animals full time um, in another capacity other than like in the, the veterinary field because I'm in my element with animals as many of you will know um, I like the exotics too I have snakes I love them um, yeah any any animals really I would I would love to work with but yeah that's put aside now anyway <laughs> um but yeah that that was my goal my dream as a child okay so I'm gonna go in with Vamp which is the black to red shift and question number four what is the wildest dream you've ever had okay now I think I'm going to appear like a complete weirdo here back when I was pregnant with my daughter I would have this recurring dream that I was walking through town and it was a town that I lived in so it seemed very real um and i'd be pushing the push chair through the town and people would be coming up to me asking to see the baby and i'd be showing them in there and they'd all be like pulling faces and walking away and when i looked i could see that my baby was a rat um and even though i could see my baby was a rat in my head that was normal and i couldn't understand why people were being so mean um and yeah, that scared me a lot. I used to, I had that dream constantly throughout my pregnancy. For those of you with kids, did you have more weird, vivid dreams when you were pregnant? So I, I remember, like to this day, how I felt when I woke up from that dream. And uh, yeah. That was mental. Such a beautiful shade. 
Okay, so before we move on to question number five, um, I'm going to go into red carpet to put on the outer part of my lid. So question number five, do you typically remember your dreams in the morning? Um, I tend to remember bits of the dreams. So I'm just using one of my little um, silicone things from Artitude Cosmetics to apply it. I picked up too much and just threw it down myself, didn't I? Um, I yeah, I do tend to remember bits of them because I do. I don't know if it's because I think it's because of the medication that I'm on. I have very very vivid dreams um mostly not very nice ones um i do suffer with nightmares quite a lot actually um these silicone things applicators are amazing um so yeah i do typically remember bits um I'm pretty sure they're like the worst bits as well but yeah so yeah I would say I definitely typically do remember at least the general gist of the dream which like I said is usually not very nice so I would happily not remember beautiful okay question number six have you ever dreamt you've had a superpower if so what was it um i'm gonna go into severus no i wouldn't say i've dreamt i have superpowers if anything quite the opposite um i have many times had that dream where no matter what clothes I put on in the house to go out with, by the time I am out walking the streets, I am naked and embarrassed and trying to hide. And that's kind of the opposite of a, a superpower, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't tend to have nice dreams, weirdly. Very, very rare. Or if I do, I just don't remember them. But yeah, so not super power, but very un super power, I guess. Um, question number seven What is a dream goal that you had to let go of? Um, I think I already covered that one, and that is becoming a veterinary nurse. Um, but in the last. Um, three years like losing my independence and everything I also I was studying with the Open University and I was doing a degree working towards a degree in psychology um halfway through and because I have really bad brain fog with my condition and I can't guarantee that I'm up to doing anything from one day to the next. I had to give up that dream of getting my degree. Um, maybe one day I'll be able to go back to it. Maybe. Um, we shall see. But yeah, that's, that's a dream that for... The foreseeable future, at least, I have had to let go of. It does make me sad. It does. Okay. I'm just going to quickly pop some primer under my eyes. And we'll continue. So, question... What question are we on now? Question number eight. Where in the world would you your dream vacation be? 
Now, personally, I would love to go, um, well, you can see the northern lights, um, but take everyone I love with me. That would be my dream. A dream vacation would be, yeah, to be able to look up and see the northern lights and share that experience with the people I love. That would be amazing. Um, also, I would love to go to America and visit Erica. That will happen one day, definitely. Um, I'm not sure when, but one day. Um, also, to go to Sweden, um, visit Marina and Norway to visit Anki. I don't have one specific, as much as, yeah, I can say I'd love to see the Northern Lights, but I'd love to see it with everyone there. But I have quite a few dream vacations. Um, go to New York to hang out with Darcy. Yeah. Ah, that's a really diff difficult one. Because, yeah, I have a few. I have a few. Okay. Question number nine. What would your dream home look like? My dream home. Um, I think it would be less about the home itself and more about the area. I would love to live in the middle of, like, mountains with forests. And, oh, I would... That would be amazing. Um, I'm going to take just a little bit of rock and then... I'll use Saint to blend it out. Um, so yeah, my actual dream home, it would definitely be full of animals. Um, 100%. And I would love to have horses. I've always wanted a horse. I used to ride when I was younger. Um, I used to do show jumping and oh I loved it and there's just nothing more freeing than riding a horse I don't know it just it used to make me feel invincible it was the most amazing feeling so yeah I would definitely have a house with like stables outside some miniature goats I think, what else would it have? I'm not sure. I'm not really, I don't know. I definitely would need a makeup room, like a whole room dedicated just to makeup and like a, you know, a, a room just dedicated to makeup with a filming area that would be awesome i would love that yeah i guess that's that's what my my dream house would be i am loving this look Oh, it's so exciting seeing all of you guys getting your palettes now and seeing the looks. It's amazing. Okay, right. Let's move on to question number 11. No, 10. 10, Steph. Are you a daydreamer? Yes, 100%. I'm a daydreamer. It was a lot of my school reports... Were, they weren't particularly happy about it, but I, I would daydream in class. Um, yeah, I'm a constant daydreamer. Still to this day, I get lost in my own world, which is probably why I love books so much. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a daydreamer. Okay, question number 11. How often do you wake up feeling that your dream was real? 
let's go into what do I want to put underneath let's pop a bit of let's go with, um, do I want to I'm gonna go with B <laughs> I can't make up my mind what I want to use um so yeah we're gonna go with a bit of B yeah quite often I will wake up feeling like uh, my dreams were real and it's not not the nicest feeling ever I have to say um, but yeah I do have a lot of very realistic nightmares <sighs> looks pretty I quite often have nightmares where I'm actually in my house and everything looks the same. Um, the people around me are people I know. Um, so yeah, it's, it can it can be a bit much, but that's okay. They're just dreams. Um, but yeah, I I quite often wake up feeling like my dreams we're real okay so on to the final question and inner corner and brow bone highlight so i am going to for my inner corner and brow bone highlight use butterfly which was named after my daughter um question number 12 what is a dream you have for the world um just my dream for the world would be that everybody could just be kind to each other you know understanding appreciate that people have different views that's okay and and just be kind because i think we would live in a much nicer world if if people were just nice and you know it's not that difficult to be nice you know, i'm sure it takes a lot more energy to be mean but yeah yeah my dream for the world would definitely be that that people would everyone could just be nice to each other live harmoniously oh, so pretty this is the one that i've hit pan on <laughs> um you can probably see why it is stunning, absolutely stunning. I'm I feel so proud of how this turned out. Um, so yeah, that is all of the questions answered. And let me just do my brow bone highlight. Um, they were some really fun questions to answer. Erica always comes up with great questions. I cannot wait to hear what her answers are um it's going to be really interesting we're similar in so many ways so it would be interesting to see how similar we are with these things i don't know i always wonder just because yeah we're we're so similar okay Ooh, okay then so I am going to nip off and finish my face and then I will come back to show you the finished look and wrap up the video so if you would like to see that and hear that then don't go anywhere okay guys so I am back with the finished look I'll just come a bit closer so you can see let me know what you think in the comments section below before I wrap up. I'm just going to let you know quickly just a few of the bits that I popped on my face. Um, to show you the things in my palette, I'm using my brand new Untouched one. Just because it looks so much tidier um, than my very, very, very used one. So, <laughs> for blush, I went into Saint, which I also have in my crease. 
and then for my face highlight I went into October Scorpios which is um so yes they do make very very good highlighters as well not just the bottom row um I quite often use Severus as a highlighter uh, it is absolutely stunning stunning as a highlighter I can't speak um so yes some of the other things I popped on my face in my waterline I have the Danessa Myricks Beauty Infinite Chrome Micro Pencil in the shade Lilac Quartz um, the liquid liner is from e.l.f. it is the expert liquid eyeliner in the shade Jet Black um, mascara I used is also from e.l.f. the Lash and Roll um, lashes I have on are from Lois Cosmetics which is a UK indie brand that I haven't heard anything from in a while so I'm really really hoping that Lois comes out with something new soon because this is a brand I love UK indie brand um, the lash style is Icon I love them um, I said blush and highlight didn't I where am I at now lips um on my lips i have the saints angel sinners lip gloss in the shade purple haze it's one of the new ones i was very kindly gifted this um by darcy but i think it looks absolutely stunning and goes perfectly with this look um yeah okay so that that bit out of the way erica thank you so so much for collabing with me this has been so much fun i love it when you come up with questions to answer i don't know how you do it but you always do um guys if you don't know who erica is if you've been living under a rock um and you don't know who she is why why don't you know who she is if you don't <laughs> channel will be linked in the description box below please 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 go over subscribe like comment all that good stuff she deserves it and so much more she's amazing she's beautiful talented a beautiful person inside and out she's my sister i love her um she's always raising other people up she's just amazing absolutely amazing so yes if you don't know who she is please head on over and subscribe right now you will not regret it i promise um but yeah i hope i hope you guys have enjoyed this i really enjoyed it um yeah my first video back in a new year 2024 which is definitely going to be better than 2023 i've decided already um and to be able to collab with erica my beautiful sister using my collab palette with saints angel sinners my steph's peer has been just a dream come true it is amazing i i love that i'm getting to share this and I'm loving seeing all of your guys' looks, seeing that you guys are receiving your palettes and you're just creating such amazing looks. And please, 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 if you have got Steph's Peer and you are putting looks up on Instagram or using it on YouTube, please, please tag me so that I can watch and see your amazing looks too. Um, I, I just feel so incredibly grateful and excited that I have my collab palette and a massive thank you to Darcy obviously for believing in me for yeah working with me being an amazing friend thank you so much yeah I love my palette I cannot wait to see what look Erica creates I cannot wait to hear the answers to her questions um partly to see how similar we are because generally we are so similar so it would be really interesting to see what how how our answers differ yeah it's gonna be fun um if you are new here if you've just found my channel or if you've come over from erica's channel hello welcome thank you so much for watching i really hope you've enjoyed it i i love to do colorful makeup looks i love to support indie brands so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in and you've enjoyed this video please do consider subscribing so that we can hang out some more i would absolutely love that um erica thank you so so much for collabing with me being my first video of 2024 using my palette sharing it with you thank you i love you so so much and 
for all of you returning. Thank you so much for all of your amazing support, your kind words. Just, you've all been amazing. I would not have this if it wasn't for you guys. I would not be in a position where I've been able to collab with a brand, where I get to share it with people. It's just, thank you so much. You are all absolutely amazing. I love and appreciate you so very much. So yeah, that is about it from me for today. So thank you for watching. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Yeah. Stepping in the spot like she own it. Looking like the world is your runway. She can set it off like a gunplay. Oh my. Yeah. Talk of the city with the body. Always getting praised like it's Sunday. She said, baby, what you gonna do by?